Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to create this engagement or wedding cake using Yarra Gold Leaf. I'll be using a 9 inch cake, a 6 inch and a 4 inch for this project, leveling off and then dividing each cake in half so we have 4 layers of cake in total. I'm building my cake on a 12 inch cake board here. Pressing it down firmly and sticking it on with buttercream, and then I have American buttercream. You could also use hybrid buttercream um, as well for this project, and just filling in. It's slightly tinted brown, that's because I added in a flavouring. It's called Butterscotch by Roberts, and it's delicious. Once you have all your tears stacked, create your crumb coat. I like to start at the very top, make it nice and flat, and then fill in the sides. I work from the top down and then go around with an acrylic scraper. I sell these on my website, rosiesdessertspot.com, link in the eye icon if you'd like to check those out. And then pop it into the fridge once the frosting's all smooth. This is a six inch cake that I've got here and this is going to be the middle tier. It's nice and short so I only used one cake for this cut in half. Create the crumb coat. You'll notice it's sitting on a six inch cake board as well. Make sure that all of your cakes, except for the bottom tier, um, have a cake board underneath. So the six and the four will have cake boards underneath. Follow the exact same steps with your four inch. Let's move down the sides, bring that lip of frosting to the center and into the fridge they all go. Make sure they set for at least 20 minutes before you apply your final layer. This is a mixture of ganache and hybrid buttercream that I've used. Whenever I cover with fondant, I prefer to use a ganache based frosting. It just makes it a lot easier to cover. It's a lot firmer, so it sets harder in the fridge and just makes it easier to create those really sharp edges on your fondant cakes. So apply that final coat to all three of your cakes and then pop them into the fridge to set for another 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I'm going to start rolling out my fondant. This is white fondant that I've used by Bake House and I've got some cornstarch on my counter to make sure it doesn't stick. Continuously rotate every time. Do like three rolls and then rotate to make sure it doesn't stick to your countertop. Once it's three millimeters thick, drape it over your cakes, push out any air from the top, secure the top edge, and then unfold those pleats and massage your fondant onto your cake. Once you've reached the very bottom, make sure that the fondant is adhered to the base of the cake. It tends to lift up otherwise, and then cut off the excess. I have my fondant smoothers going around the side and then clapping them together at the very top edge to create sharper edges. Do the same for your 8 inch cake. If you have anything lifting, just grab your smoother and smooth it down. Very easy fix. And then for the 6 inch, because I'm covering it completely with uh, gold leaf, I've gone and coloured my fondant gold. And that way, if there's any gold leaf missing in areas, you won't really be able to tell because the gold fondant underneath will kind of camouflage it. Here I have some white fondant and I've got some black gel food colour that I streaked onto it, giving it a twist but not kneading it in, and popping a grey thread of fondant right next to it. Give it a bit of a twist, maybe like two kneads exactly, and then roll it out in a rectangular form if you can, because of the cutters, it's probably best to do it rectangular. I just did it this kind of shape, which is kind of hard shape, but it worked out in the end. The geometric hexagon cutters that I've got here by PME. I'll mention that again in the description box and hopefully find a link for you guys as well. But I bought mine from a shop called My Dream Cake in Melbourne. The gold leaf that I use for this project is by Yara and it comes in sheets that are 1.5 um, inches. Great for this sort of project, so a little bit bigger. The other ones I used were a bit smaller for a different cake decorating tutorial, so I'm really glad they have these larger ones finally in stock. I'll leave a link in the description box where you can find that. And in the meantime, some yellow fondant again, smearing vegetable shortening all over it. A very thin film, it's going to help to stick our gold leaf. Use your hexagon shape just to imprint on the fondant so you know where to place your gold leaf. You don't want any wastage because these things, um, they can be a little bit expensive. Apply your gold leaf and then peel off the paper. Once you've covered that uh, template that you created for yourself, cut out your hexagons. Give it a bit of a tap to release the cutouts and then do some white as well. So we'll have three different types. 
This is the 8 inch cake, again smearing a very very thin film of vegetable shortening all over it and then arranging my hexagons on top. I start at the very bottom so that one of the hexagons can be flush with the cake board, that way you know it'll create a nice straight pattern. Build as you go. I have a predominantly white sort of look to this, so I didn't cut out as many marbled or as many gold. I want it to be like that um, on purpose. It might not add up at the very end of the cake, um, so just make that your back instead. Fill in the spaces at the very bottom and at the very top as well. Then use a spatula to cut off the excess, keeping it flush with the top of your cake and just pressing up against your finger to cut it. Once you're finished, smooth down any of those edges and then back into the fridge she goes to rest, or at room temperature as well. For our middle tier, again smearing it with some shortening at the very top as well, because we're gonna make it go at least halfway up. Peel open your sheet of gold leaf and then gently place it at the very bottom, massage it on if you want, and because we're adding a ribbon at the very base of this cake, it doesn't really need to, I guess, be on the very, very bottom. You can have a little bit of fondant to show through at the very bottom. Once you've created the bottom layer, go and work your way up the cake. And then for the very top, we're just going to fill it in and leave some space in the middle because that's where our four inch is going to sit. So there's no point wasting um, gold leaf in the very center. I have three wooden dowels that I've added into my 8 inch cake and they're cut flush with the height of the cake. Add on some buttercream to stick your middle tier on top. And then again just marking where that dowel ends at the very top, cutting it down and measuring two other dowels to the same height. Press them into your cake. Again just a little bit of buttercream to stick that on. And on goes your 4 inch tear. This was nice and cold from the fridge so I could handle it with my hands without denting. Add some gold ribbon at the base of every tear, even the 8 inch as well. And I've cut it a little bit longer so that I can stick the ribbon to itself with some double sided tape. If you need to, press that ribbon down so it touches the cake underneath, just to hide everything. These are fake flowers, they have wires on them so I'm wrapping the wires to make them food safe in plastic wrap. You could also use... Um, edit, um, food safe floral tape or a toothpick instead or you could even pop them into a straw and then into your cake. I organized flowers to work up the whole length of the 4 inch tier and to also overlap onto the 6 inch and that's just on one side. If you have any space in between you can fill those with leaves later. I also stuck some on the other side, not as big of a bouquet, just maybe about 4 or so to um, kind of make it look a little bit more even. In goes the filler leaves. And then for our final touch, I thought I'd incorporate a little bit of a hexagon kind of pattern happening on the top tier to match the very bottom one. I only added about four of these though, about four or five. Cut off the excess. And you're done. And that is how you create a really fun and elegant pentagon inspired cake decorated with fake flowers and edible gold leaf. This was a lot of fun to do, but it did take me about eight hours or so to complete it. Totally worth it though, a little bit finicky. That's, that's the only reason why it took so much time because there's a lot of small pieces they got to put together. Aside from that, it was totally worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. A huge thank you for Yara Goldley for sponsoring this video today. Here's the package one more time and on the front it says 24 karat gold leaf sheets. Also comes in a smaller pack as well. This I would recommend for your little um, projects like your macarons, your cookies, putting on top of frosting. And this size is actually pretty good for covering cakes as I did before. So both of these are available online. Do click the link in the description box below to check these out. And they do ship to Australia now and also in the US, I believe. I hope this has been of inspiration to you and you give it a go. If you do, don't forget to tag us in your photos. I love to see what you guys are coming up with as well. Just like these amazing creations. We have Wim's Bakery, Tucker's underscore Tales, Heavenly.Peace, and Tubers underscore Tortenzauber. 
Thanks guys for taking us in your photos. Your cakes look amazing and the brownies as well. That made me so hungry to see those brownies. <laughs> Hashtag Rosie's dessert spot on Instagram for your chance to be featured on our tutorials as well. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll catch you guys again next week for our Tuesday tutorial. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed, don't forget to do so. We upload a new video every Tuesday. Bye for now.